Uh, folks, this is the Honda Hornet 2.0, the second generation of uh, Honda Hornet 160R. Now it has grown up to 184cc. That's giving out 17. Point, around 17.2 PS of power. Still got that. Uh, air cooled engine but uh, it's got the slight uh, cosmetic changes and let's see how it goes really like the sound that's coming out from the engine that induction roar Handling is really nice. It's really precise for a naked bike. R15 is quite fast and the rider is good let's see how they handle the corners
Overrap. <laughs> This is really nice, man. Yeah, I have to slow down here. Oh, that was great. Let's slow down here because there's lots of uh, people. The handling is so uh, for a naked bike. I think uh, this is the best handling bike that we've uh, tested in uh, 2020. Uh, it's great. I was uh, like, I really wanted a little bit more power, but uh, this is, I mean, it's great, it's enough. If it's uh, really faster, I think the chassis and the, the suspension can handle it. It's got an upside down fork, really nice. And let's see again. Hey, hey, don't they don't leave much room for us, yeah? Slow down here. Let's see if I can catch him again. Whoa, whoa. Okay. And it's really great. As I was saying, I want a little more power from this uh, air-cooled engine, but this is also okay. And uh, the brakes are also okay. Not that great, but uh, they're okay. Tires are maxes. I think this bike comes with uh, maxes and uh, MRF. This one comes with maxes. This is okay. Uh, on slightly bumpy roads, it feels a little uh, hard, but uh, on really nice uh, paved roads, its grip is okay. So, overall, it's a really nice bike to ride. Uh, and I especially like the handling characteristic, uh, characteristic in the corners because for a naked bike, it's really it can really handle high-speed cornering. This is a naked uh, street bike, so maybe it's not supposed to be ridden like this, but uh, anyways, we are riding it <laughs> and uh, we feel that it's one of the best handling a naked bike in the market right now. Definitely not the fastest uh, in the 200 category, but uh, it's one of the best handling bike. There's uh, gravel in the corner, so I have to take a uh, slight evasive action. Engine sound is really nice, and uh, it's giving around 39 kilometers per liter. <laughs> That's really great, and you can see how we are riding it now. I think if you are pottering around 50-60 kilometers per hour, definitely go beyond uh, 40 kilometers per hour in the mileage. Uh, for not 40 kilometers per hour, but 40 kilometers per liter. Sorry. Ah, I don't know why there's lots of trucks today.
this is really really sweet handling bike and the upside down forks really works great uh, it's giving uh, the maximum power at around 8500 rpm and i don't think uh, it's uh, you need to rev till 8500 to you know it feels a little stress after 8000 so better shift uh, at around 8000 what's happening today the ride feels a little stiff uh, for a really really committed uh, oriented guys they might feel the suspension is a little stiff but uh, for us uh, for sport riding fans uh, this is a great uh, bonus because it really handles handles like a dream uh -huh. the brake feel is also nice you can really trail brake at, uh, on the corners uh, engine is really tractable you don't have to rev it that high to get to get the uh, power power builds up from around 4000 till around 8000 so that's a wide range of uh, power and it looks quite nice gearbox is really slick not much vibration from the engine we are revving till past 9000 plus but actually we are really going quite fast you don't, for normal riding you don't have to rev it that high no? I think uh, three or four times I've missed uh, an upshift on this bike maybe that's because it's a new bike i don't know lots of gravel in the road have to be really careful whoa <laughs> even the the four wheelers are driving really fast today <laughs> let's slow down here because lots of people for around uh, 1.4 lags almost 1.5 on road this is a really good bike if you if you want uh, a good looking naked bike sub 200 cc with great handling uh, good uh, overall working brakes a good performance from the engine but uh, really really commuter friendly the riding position is really comfortable so that would be great for commuting plus if you want to go for a slight uh, touring also that would be great but if you are looking for uh, you know slightly faster naked bike uh, I'm sure there are much faster 200cc or uh, sub 200cc uh, bikes um, around 200cc bike naked bike much faster than this but if your preference is not an all out uh, guns blazing going fast this is maybe one of the best option or this is one of the best option you'll have uh, to give you the best of both worlds comfort power looks and uh, it's not that expensive and as I've said it's really uh, fuel efficient as well of course this is Honda no Honda it's always Honda <laughs> uh, not always a big fan of Honda but uh, this bike really speaks to me because uh, it handles really great uh, for us uh, even if it's not that powerful if it handles really great then it always uh, gets a lot of praise from us because we like to go slightly fast on the corners uh, safely <laughs> I'd like to add that as well so I'm really enjoying this uh, this is winter time it's really cold now and uh, the tires uh, are standing up really great to the conditions because it's uh, when it's cold the tire loses a lot of grip come on man what the hell
but uh, this Maxxis tire really works great uh, yesterday I was riding it uh, at a not so good uh, road on that uh, it was slightly jarring so I was thinking maybe it's because of the tire or maybe the suspension is slightly stiff yeah the suspension is suspension is slightly stiff it's sporty but uh, not that sporty to bother you know like people with uh, commuting in mind but uh, for a sport riding fan to give it a good advantage so it's it's a good balanced bike so I'm thinking maybe the jarring effect is slightly down to the tire I really want to ride the bikes that comes with um, MRF tires to see the difference this is not a bad tire at all but I just like to feel the difference see you can really trail brake on the corners because uh, you need to trail brake a lot on these corners because as you can see the corners are full zigzag and lots of uh, vehicle you cannot always choose the fastest line my friend is riding an r15 he's at the back and uh, compared to an r15 yeah the power uh, especially on the high rpm it's losing uh, power but uh, it can hold its own on the corners uh, compared even compared to the r15 which is one of the best uh, handling bike in india sports uh, sports biking wise uh, regarding corner speed so especially in this uh, type of uh, narrow zigzag roads r15 is the king but uh, for a naked bike this is this uh, bike's performance is really really respectable so um, that's our review of the Honda on it 2.0 uh, we'll be giving out a detailed review in our native language in Mizo uh, we might be able to add some uh, subtitles if you want to watch the review videos so stay tuned and thank you all for watching yeah okay and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> again thank you all for watching and uh, we really enjoy making this type of videos so i'm sure you guys will also enjoy watching this video thanks again yeah ciao